Dear students, today we are going to talk on the American writer Toni Morrison. How Toni Morrison is a great American novelist. Especially this paper is special author. Toni Morrison as the great American novelist. The writing is a brief introduction to the fictional work of Nobel laureate Toni Morrison is popularly classified as the black American writer. It includes Morrison's achievement as a teacher, a writer and editor in a biased society. Now these works of Toni Morrison covers the 300 years old unfairness existing in the American society in the form of segregation, racial and sexual oppression. It includes Morrison's perspective in overcoming social and political prejudices existing in the society because of color discrimination. Morrison's novels are thought provoking more about the black people and black world where the writer tries to touch the psyche of her black character. The writings can be viewed from different perspective as they are convincing with imagery, foreshadowing, uh, flashback, myth, inner monologue, and authentic dialect. Though Morrison does not believe in matriarchy or patriarchy, the fictions are limited to female protagonists except for Song of Solomon. Morrison believes that the black female is subjugated first from the outside world because of racism and inside own community because of patriarchy. The novels illuminate the complexity the Afro-American goes through in the path to living a normal life and be a part of American dream of success. The 11 uh, fictions novels of Morrison mirror the new truth of American society and reflect the racial and sexual male violence the black men and women underwent as a whole. The black literary legend Toni Morrison brought a black world to the forefront thought her writing. Morrison having been born and brought up in the north a free state where neither slavery or racism flourished in it full form was left uh, untouched with the truth of facial uh, racial segregation. When Morrison come, uh, came to the South for higher education was a surprise to see separate water fountain for black and whites, separation of seats in buses and trains by using bars. Once Morrison stole a wooden bar that was used in the rear side of a bus to separate the black passengers from the whites and sent it to her mother as a sad moment. Morrison recognized that reality is vague and the truth is frequently impossible to apprehend. Though emancipation proclaimed in 1863 gave freedom to the chattel slaves and the 30th uh, amendment to the constitution banned bonded labor, the black were still marginalized and segregated from the mainstream. They were given the bottom position in the uh, spheres of the economics, political and commercial ground. Even though the 14th amendment in 1868 assured that ex-slaves the right to citizenship they were aligned in their own land. The fiction beloved is a successful challenge of Morrison to remember the 60 million African who gave away their life in the journey of transatlantic slave trades. The evolution of bench by the road project is to keep alive the experience of slavery which the ancestors have gone through to make their descendant a part and parcel of American dream of success. Toni Morrison is one of the leading figure in contemporary American fiction 
and the first black American woman to win 1993 Nobel Prize for Literature. Calling Miss Morrison a literary artist of the first rank, the Swedish Academy states went on to say, she de delves into the language itself, a language she wants to liberate from the fetters of race, and she addresses us with the luster of poetry. On the occasion of Nobel Prize, Professor Allen read out a literary critic and a critic from playing in the dark, whiteness and the literary images and said, Miss Morrison regards the African presence in her country as a vital unarticulated prerequisite for the fulfillment of American dream. Similarly, she sees whiteness in literature, literature as having blackness as its constant companion, the racial other as its shadow. My Angelo, feeling proud, said for Morrison that she has the insight of shaman and the lyricism of a great poet. Morrison's first novel, The Bluest Eye, was a step to be a writer, but novel was criticized for portraying the ugly truth of black life in its raw form. The novel has a unique place in Morrison's life as it comes out a spiritual loneliness when she was a divorced single mother and was trying to establish herself in the work world with a little support system. The bluest eye shows that Stereotypical images of race as superior and inferior leads to total destruction. First, I shows that stereotypical images of race as superior and inferior leads to total destructions, not only of a particular generation but of the whole nation. The story moves in and around a teen black girl, Picola, who is a victim of race and sex, both in comfort zone of her home and community which believed to be the safest place for girl. She gets bias attitude both from the whites and blacks. The Geraldine, because of her father's sexist outlook, she goes through an ir uh, irrational state of mind and falls prey to her own ignorance. This book, after many years, got its credit and recognition as the bluest eye is exported in the North Anthology of Literature by women. Morrison's second novel, Sula, is a lavish piece of work which beautifully interprets love between two female where the varied, varied world of the black male is discerned from the varied world of the female. Sula is Experted in a major American literary anthology, Random Houses, the American Tradition in Literature. The relationship between female and female bonding is more powerful than male and female. The unconditional love of a mother, Eve Peace, for her children and love between two female friends, Sula and Nell, shows that no two species love is as strong as the love of two female species. Sula portrays race and gender oppression. When the protagonist, Sula, peace returned to her hometown, she compared with the plague of robins as evil sign of a uh, forewarming for the black community. Her unconventional lifestyle is marked as a spin seen by the people of bottom. On contrary, when Helen Wright faces derogatory racial remarks as a substitute, she give, gives a broad green which shows the defenselessness of the black against gene laws. Most of the incidents in the fiction reflects the truth reveals in the American society at large. The third fictional uh, novel Song of Solomon is a substitutely a um, junior piece of work which is considered 
Morrison's first classic and lyrical novel. It is a different form from other novels as the protagonist is a male and the motif of music is heard and left out the novel. Morrison's brilliant imagination and love for dynamic character is reflected in the names as the Mercy Hospital is called No Mercy. And the first black baby born in it is Milkman Dead. The contemporary folktale twirls around an unconditional name, Milkman Dead, whose quest for identity takes to his ancestral place from where he learns about his great-grandfather Solomon and the, and the slavery and racism that has created economic, political, cultural ugliness in the American society. He disc, uh, discovers his familial heritage and gains awareness about the pain and agony, brutality and deprivations his ancestor have endured to survive and be a part of hegemonic world. Morrison's last novel means last novel here uh, we are going to discuss that is Morrison's fourth creating, uh, creative writing Tar Baby is the meaning uh, magnificently beautiful novel which draws our attention to feminism, racism and classism. Morrison's, uh, Morrison's delicate and powerful character through the setting describes the uh, present between the black and white. It discloses all the shades of liability and infidelity within black society. It's an attempt to Morrison's to uh, break the myth that the white have needed about the black and present the black world as it is at its core. As John Irving says, the Morrison's Morrison through her writing has triumphed over all the societal pragmatism where many black stories are entrapped in race and sex prejudice. Here it is a story about a woman, her rage, her dream and her freedom to lead a life of her own choice. What's so powerful and subtle about Miss Morrison's Presentation of tension between black and white is that she conveys it almost entirely through the suspicion and prejudice of black characters. So, dear friends, in this way, we can say that with the help of her four novels, we can conclude this lecture as Toni Morrison is a great American novelist. Thank you.